Father, I'm, I'm so glad you could come and pray for Mama. Please sit, sit. Thank you, Gabriel. <clears throat> Listen, since you're here, there's something I've always wondered about. That whole thing about priests not being allowed to repeat what they hear in confessions. Is that a hard rule or, or just a general guideline? Rest assured, everyone's secrets are safe. It's good to hear. I'll keep yours, too, if you want to talk. No, me? No, no. <laughs> Confession's not really my thing. It's a shame. Okay, you can stop condemning me with your eyes. Right now. I know you know about the affair. But you know nothing about my life. Look, it's not even an issue anymore. John and I are finished. Gabrielle, the church is pretty clear on this. If you commit a mortal sin and you die without repenting, you go to hell. Aren't you just a ball of fun? So, if I confess, it'll clean the slate, right? Well, not only that. If you want God's forgiveness, you have to be truly sorry and you have to promise not to commit the sin again. So what happens if I repent later? Like, say, when I'm 75? I wouldn't recommend waiting. What if you die before then? Well, let's say I don't die. I do yoga, I eat well. If I wait, does my repenting still count? If you mean it, yes. Thank you, Father Crowley. You have been a tremendous comfort. Um, I will let you do your thing. Gabrielle. You know, we're all responsible for the choices we make. Don't you want to be a good person? What I want is to be happy. That's the answer of a selfish child. I know. <laughs>